when a situation comes, uh, for example, uh, in our scenario, we have seen that we have a material worth 60,000. We have already paid that and it has no other use. And if you don't use it, we're going to have to dispose it off for 5,000 pounds. First of all, think about is material in stock? If it's yes, then are the material in use? Again, we have two options. If yes, the material must be replaced. So you use a material all the time uh, for all so for different products and different projects. And you need some material, let's say 200 kg for uh, a new job. And you use that material all the time. So whatever the cost uh, would be for material, 200 kg times 10, for example, it is all going to be a relevant cost. Because even if it's in stock or not in stock, it doesn't matter. It's still relevant. So think about if material is in stock, yes. Okay, what's the situation next? Is it in use? Yes. If not in use, if the material is obsolete, then the relevant cost is the net scrap value. So we have something in stock which we have not used and we don't see a use for it in the near future, then it has no cost. So for example, 60,000 uh, in our scenario, is it has no extra cost. So we will ignore that in decision making. If material is not in stock, then what do we do with material? It must be purchased. The relevant cost is the price paid in future. Same thing, more or less for labor as well. First of all, you, you need to do a job and you need labor. So first question is if your labor, if you have the labor available. Yes. Then is there any spare capacity? Like we have on contract staff <laughs> that they are our, at our factory for eight hours a day all the time. But uh, every day, but uh, sometimes you use eight hours, sometimes you use six hours. So you're paying them anyway. Uh, in that case, is the labor idle? That is the situation. We have two hours spare. Um, if yes, then relevant cost is zero. If not, then uh, if labor can be recruited, the relevant cost is rate per hour. If labor cannot be recruited, relevant cost is contribution foregone plus the variable cost. So. If the labor available, yes. If idle, zero. But if there's no capacity, then we have two options. One, we pay them overtime. So whatever overtime we pay them, that is the relevant cost. Or we ask an agency worker to come and work for us. Again, we will pay them. Or the third option is that they're already working somewhere. They're already working eight hours a day. And we say, you know what, leave whatever you're doing and do this job because a new job is more important for us. So we divert our labor from one option to the other option. So we'll pay them whatever we are paying them. We will add the cost of that. Plus, because we are losing money elsewhere because we're using labor here. So the opportunity cost would come up as well in that case. So that is the situation if we have a labor available. If we don't have, uh, we need to ask ourselves that can we recruit? Uh, if no, then you can't do the job, obviously, so no. If yes, then whatever you're going to pay to the agency workers, then that is the relevant cost.